science and love. Now, these two concepts don't seem like they go together, but the Des Moines Playhouse's completeness tries to crack the code of the heart. John, this is sort of a juicy brainiac play, I think. Oh my goodness, you stole the words <laughs> yeah. right out of my Well, I was thinking oh of that. I was oh. gonna ask you to use three Jeez. words to describe it. Academic <laughs> hijinks, how's that? <laughs> <laughs> Those are two words. Uh, uh, scientific hanky-panky. Oh, I love you, it. You name it, this is a romantic comedy that blends science and romance and the, and the way young people talk in a way that ends up being hilarious and touching at the same time. How are you, why are you drawn to the play? I was drawn to it because it felt so new, it felt so modern. And, and they're using scientific explanation in order to succeed romantically with each other. And so the problem of course happens when they start using, trying to use the scientific method to, uh, to make predictions about how the romance is going to turn out. They make choices that end up being totally wrong as a result. Hanky-panky, uh, hilarious hijinks happen, and we end up with them at the end of the show understanding that these are the things you need to let happen not try to control the way you would control an experiment. I love how many times okay. you've used the word hanky-panky. So what does that mean? Does that just mean it's like really juicy or? Oh, do you want yeah. juice? I want uh, yeah, juice, I some, like juice. All right, so, <laughs> so yes, I would say that there is some stuff in here that's, that's kind of racy and kind of fun. Okay. But more important. Tell me more. Oh. <laughs> Let's hear it. No. More important, okay. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you what, if you come and see it, you'll know what I'm talking about. How's that? That sounds great. Well, speaking yeah. of modern, I think yeah. maybe the costumes are modern. I can't wait to check them out, so I'm going to go find Angie. Okay, that's the best thing to do next. Thanks, yeah, you'll John. have a ball. Thanks a lot. <laughs> see ya. Anybody else coming? Oh. Angie, you are the person I've been looking for. So, this is the show here, huh? This is the show, on the rack. Tell me about how you came up with designing the show. Well, it's a contemporary show, so I think about what people today would wear, and particularly people in their 20s. So like coffee shops, the mall, the movie theater, you know, where you see them out in the bars and so forth. So how is this show different than other ones you've designed for? Uh, well, this one is, is sort of an interesting show about relationships. So we gotta show those relationships through the clothes, and you gotta show who they are through the clothes, what that tells about each person. If they're rich or poor, you know, interesting, funny, you know, all the sorts of different things about people. Well, Angie, I have heard rumors about the body suit, and I'm dying to know, what is the body suit? The body suit's a secret. <laughs> oh, you're not gonna tell me? No. <laughs> you have to see the show. Okay, we will do. Well, I'm sure the costumes are gonna look great on the set. And speaking of the set, I'm gonna go get the scoop from Tim. Woo, this is awesome, Tim. You are the mastermind behind this, I know. Well, it's a bunch of rings and turntables. <laughs> if you look at the floor, we actually have a turntable that turns, of course, it's a turntable, it's a logical name for it. Then we have a stationary disc, and then we have a whole nother giant donut that's actually a 24-foot circle that also spins. So they can spin opposing one another, they can go together, and it kind of, I think, mirrors some of the themes in the show, kind of particles moving around each other, people oh. moving around each other, and how sometimes they're going in different directions. And then also the panels um, light up from oh, the wow. side. So there's actually rope light hidden in this gray tube that will kind of just very lightly light up so when the emotional um, feeling of the show heightens, the panels start to pulse and kind of buzz. That was your idea, wasn't it? Mm. Well, it's a cool <laughs> bit, but it's dictated <laughs> yeah. in the script, too. Oh, I love it. It looks like it's going to be awesome. Is it done now? Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. We still have a week and a half left. There's, oh, there's words to do. Well, you know what? I could probably get changed and lend a hand if you need me. Well, okay. All right, let's go. All right. <laughs> Leanne, I love juicy stuff and I love hanky-panky in shows. So tell us, how can people get tickets to Completeness? Well, they can visit our website at dmplayhouse.com or give us a call at 515-277-6261. Now you are gonna talk to me about the bodysuit, aren't you? Oh, you know what, we just ran out of time. Let's go on in and see the show. <laughs> All right.